Tak, tak, tak. So what book are you going to read? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. One of my all-time favorites. Right on. Are you, are you nervous? You, you're not scared of heights, are you? No, but I am nervous. What? I don't know. I've never read out loud for an hour before. Oh yeah, it's like a whole hour. How much of the book do you think you'll get through? I don't know. I think like half. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. In an hour? Yeah. Out loud? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's like big writing and there's pictures. That's true. So. Are you going to do character voices or I anything? thought about it, but I just don't think I'm going to subject the uh, audience to that. <laughs> I think that might be a little too funny. Maybe a little variation, but not like a crazy voice for Willy Wonka or anything like that. <laughs> you need me to be over here again? Okay. Alright. Alright, here we go. Action. Me! <laughs> You're like so over this, aren't you? No. Oh, okay, good. Oh, you guys get over the lift. This is fun. <laughs> what is the explanation of this paradox? Good afternoon, Orlando Public Library. Happy National Library Week. My name is Brian Feldman. We are up here on the roof. We are up here on the roof in celebration of National Library Week doing a project called 67 Books. And what it entails, once an hour, whenever the library is open this week, one Orange County Library System card holder gets to come up here and read for one hour any book they wish to from the collection. Um, coming up next, book 31. Chapter 1. It was fun. I didn't expect that. I was just walking down the street and all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, you weren't? You didn't sign up to do it? You no, just... no, no, no. I, I, I was across the street and I said, "Oh, let me listen to this guy, whatever he's doing." And then the woman walked over to me and I thought she was going to tell me, "Could you please move? You're in the shot." And instead, she says, "Oh, could you go up here and read?" And I said, "Well, what do you want? Do you have a book you want me to read?" And she said, "Yeah, well, any book." And I said, "Well, I already have a book from the library. It was." Uh, uh, the, one of the Dexter novels. I probably should say Je uh, Jeff Lindsay. This is his number two book, uh, Daily mm -hmm. Devoted Dexter. So I was kind of surprised. <laughs> it was kind of fun. I was like, what the heck? You know, <laughs> opportunity knocks. Why not go do it? Now, now. I'm Elizabeth Moffat. I'm reading from Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. I'm reader number 31. And I'm starting at the beginning. Not reading the introduction. Ah, chapter one. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man possession of good fortune must be in want of a wife. Fantastic sound. It's magnificent electronic organ organized electronic. With a ring on it, in her hair and said Oscar Ron. One word founded the Fossil Fuels Policy and Action Institute, which soon spawned the Clinton not only sitting in the world's climate. If you want to just put one to the Ogden Nash. Poetry. Poetry. Mostly Ogden Nash, but uh, some others as well. Let's see. Lois Linsky, Florida, my Florida, some of her poems. And some of Emily Dickinson's. And William Carlos Williams, and uh, let's see, Walt Whitman. Sounds good. So, celebrate National Poetry Month. True. All from our collection. Were you, you nervous at all? And... Oh, no, I don't get nervous <laughs> by heights. <laughs> in the U.S., about 30,000 people die each year from respiratory illnesses, stemming from auto-related airborne toxins. Reading. 65% of all carbon monoxide emitted from into the together. environment is from road fuels that count for 17% of global carbon carbon dioxide releases. Yeah, so your book 54. 54, okay. In Southern California, Good afternoon, Orlando Public Library. 
It's National Library Week. We're up here on the roof celebrating by having 67 Orange County Library System cardholders read any book they so choose from the collection. Today we have a very special guest, the director and CEO of the Orange County Library System, Mary Ann Hodel. She is book 54 of 67. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, some, I'm going to be reading some poems in celebration of National Poetry Month. That was fun. Uh, I've never seen the sidewalk from that particular perspective before, so that was interesting. And you'd see people walk by and they'd stop. And if they would watch a while, then I'd, okay, I'd make sure that the next poem I read was something that would really capture their uh, imagination. I think it um, got a lot of attention for the library in the local neighborhood, which was what we were aiming for all over. It was a very positive experience and I think it'd be fun to do it again. Uh -huh. <laughs> 